I like the motivation of a chip on a shoulder. I love that I post my report card and I was ranked 243 out of 254 in my entire class. And I find it really fun and exciting that my mission now is to create more wealth and success than the rest of my fucking class combined. But that shouldn't be the reason you do things, right? And so there's a couple things that I wanna break through in this meeting today. Number one is why do you do what you do? Because way too many people are doing it from a place of defense. And I'm trying to figure out every day how to produce content or have a conversation of getting you to do it for yourself. For yourself. How many people saw Rocky IV, the Russian one? In the end of that movie, the most interesting part is what Drago says after he loses. Rocky wins and then they take the mic and you know, Rocky does the whole like we can be friends shit, which worked for a few minutes. Um, but what was way more important is what Drago said, which is he said, I didn't fight Rocky for this country, I fought him for myself. And I, I was a young kid when that movie came out and it has stuck with me forever. Some of you consume my content and know I talk a lot about, I don't care what you think about my losses. My L is my L. You're more than welcome to leave a comment and clown on me when I fail on something and something doesn't work out. I have good news for you. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. In the session I just had, we were talking about this shit and I was like, look, because I think Facebook and Instagram is so underpriced and I want you to pour money into it, I'm trying to convince people to sell their homes and live in an apartment and take the money and reinvest it in their business because nobody takes advantage of all six of their bedrooms when they buy a six bedroom home. We live in three fucking rooms. Everybody's doing shit for the outside. You wear the clothes for the outside, you floss, you front, and it's the biggest fucking mistake you make. I've been inside my own head for a long time on the back of really good parenting and circumstance. The great advantage of being born with nothing and being an immigrant is you told and you were told from the get that you suck and you lost and that is the advantage. The disadvantage is entitlement. How many people here have kids? Raise your hand. Cool, you wanna do a real favor for your kids? Stop protecting them. Eighth place trophies leads to dumb shit. Losing my whole life is the greatest fucking thing that happened. I cried every time. My mom was happy about it. This is a very simple binary game. In life and in business, you are either on the offense or you're on the defense. Way too many of you are sitting here right now and thinking you're in the middle. There is no middle. You're either going backwards or you're going forwards. There's no fucking neutral in the way that we live this. To me, education is the game, but not the way it's packaged in our society today. Fuck school the way we have it now. Fuck it. That doesn't mean education's not the game. What did I do in the first seven minutes of my talk here? I'm trying to educate. Listen to me, fuckers. Listen carefully. If you're not producing words, videos, or pictures for Instagram, Facebook, podcasting, YouTube, LinkedIn, and that world, you don't fucking exist, nor does your business. Listen, listen and do not have the wrong KPI. It's not how many likes or followers you have. I have a funny feeling here, if you got one follower and one like, but you were getting what you wanted for the content you put out financially or emotionally, you'd be super happy. Do not get caught up in the micro game of social. People always run up to me, they're like, I have a million followers, I'm like, so? Like, what are you doing with that attention? What are you trying to accomplish and what is your goal? And by the way, you wanna make money? Mazel tov. You wanna change the world? Mazel tov. I have no interest in judging your ambition. My interest is in, are you relevant in May 2018? Are you relevant in May 2018? I don't care, people are like, Gary Vee, what's the next fucking big platform? I don't know, dick. I'm not fucking Nostradamus up here. I don't know what the next big platform is. I know what platform's working right now. I know that YouTube is working right now. I know that Facebook's working right now. I know that none of you, because if I'm not all in with somebody who's got 22 full-time employees now, up from one in three years working on my content, if I know in my heart that I'm pouring
pouring millions and have 22 full-time people making written words, audio, and video, and I can feel it as I stand on this stage that I'm not even close to putting in enough chips, the fuck are you doing?